welcome to another episode of Carbs, the only show where in the car and BS wall consuming carbs. Matt Zion along with Ken Domic and also Sean Brotherton. Right. Make sure to check out both their channels down below. Sean does check vlogging. First. Ken does Ken does food <laughs> reviews. Obviously, you guys know Ken. Uh, but we are going to be doing something special uh, over on Ken's channel. Whenever it's posted, we did like a Red Robin thing, so uh, I'll link his channel down below. Mm. Just check that out whenever it comes out or if it's already out. Uh, I wanted to do something a little different because Red Robin really didn't have anything like new, new, and normally they do, which is kind of strange. Like usually they have a menu that's just a limited time items, and the only thing they had was booze, and unfortunately California won't allow that to happen when yeah. we come outside. So <laughs> this is from our good friend from California Blazing Chili Farm. This oh, is no. oh no Phoenix sauce and peppers. So uh, this is distilled vinegar, soy sauce, habanero peppers, reaper extract, dark soy sauce, sweet no. soy sauce, beer cane sugar, and sea salt. <laughs> Did he actually get out? <laughs> get your ass back in here. Uh, Wait, is that not how this works? I can't, I can't just okay. leave? Let's open this thing up. Uh, this is from a very good friend of ours. Please, uh, he's local to us as well, and he sells some delicious products. Uh, I did these on a live stream. Essentially, this is what these actually are. They are uh, jalapenos oh, infused. I can smell it. Jalapenos infused in Reaper like sauce. It smells like pickles. Now, one thing I will say, because I wouldn't have you guys do something that's gonna like fucking kill you in the car. Yes, you would. I would if you were outside. Um, <laughs> these are delicious. That you can swallow them, and they are gonna hurt a little bit, but they're not gonna cause you any stomach pain or long term issues whatsoever. It'll be like two minutes, and you'll be good. They smell. You never. They know smell where great that, though. It smells like. It smells though. really good. Like great. Like, yeah, pickles and something else. I guess it's the habanero, maybe. If you're saying they're not that bad, I don't want to take a whole teaspoon. Yeah, do it, man. All right, we'll do it. We'll pass it back to Sean so he can see his death. Okay. Okay, it's pretty hot. <laughs> Should I go away for Sean? Do it. <laughs> go. I'm over there. You there. go, guys. Ew, nice brown. Okay. Whoa. All right. Here we go. Okay. Sweet. Oh. Got a bite. It's delicious, though. I love the flavor of it. Wow, that's hot. <laughs> ah. <laughs> sweet, oh, man. sweet jelly kind of flavor. Yes. One thing I'll say about California Blazing Chili Farms is they make <laughs> hot shit for sure, but at least their stuff always tastes good. Mm. There's so many companies out there that do similar products, and they just focus on the heat, and that's it. But see, it's already dying down for me. Yeah, yeah. But it's going away. But they're delicious. If you had a couple of those, you would definitely be burning for a while. Well, the nice thing about him too, and I state this as well, because all his ordering info is down below his Etsy store and stuff. You can message him and ask him for the same product, but ask him to make it not as hot. Oh, really? And he'll do it. Yeah, custom. I mean, he, he takes custom orders of all of his stuff. So. Oh, that's awesome. So he's great. Rain scale. It's too hot to enjoy. I will admit that. There's no fucking way you can sit here and eat this on a casual thing. But it's for every once in a while, it gives you a nice kick. It'll clear out your sinuses immediately. Uh, I'm going to rate it um, very low 4 out of 5 because, again, time and place on it, but it is a great flavor and just an overall good company. What do you say? It's still burning. It's still burning? Yeah. Well, you did like it, five it or six of them. So. kind of went away, and then now it's just lingering at a constant oh. burn, and it's not not tapering off just yet. It's good. But for flavor, for a hot thing flavor, that's probably like a 5 out of 5. It's great. For flavor, um, the spice level is definitely up there. So, I think all together it's a five out of five out so of five. Like I, I, yeah. I'd like to know what I would like to put that on. Maybe a burger. It's got to be something. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking, I was thinking chopped up like in a, in a taco or something like that. Oh, and, or in a salsa sauce. Yeah, spice up your salsa sauce with those. Mm -hmm. That'd be that, pretty that good. Would, that would do a good job. But yeah, so I guess five out of five for me. All right. Out of all the things I've eaten on reckless eating, <laughs> it's probably one. Yeah, of that's why it's not things. that big of a deal. Yeah, <laughs> Sean, what do you say? It was really good. Now I don't like spice at mm, all. He doesn't. Uh, but the flavor-wise, it was good. The spice was a manageable spice. It yeah. was still hot, where it was questionable. Okay, is this going to get worse from this point? But it's already dying down. So what? I think Ooh. you were right. About two minutes or so, and it's like it starts to taper yeah. off a little bit. Uh, I'm going to give that uh, four out of five. Just a solid four out of five. I would give it a five out of five, but I just don't like spice, so it gets yeah. it gets a, a minus one off that. I would recommend <laughs> I would recommend if you are going to order anything from him, try to find and order his uh, Carolina Reaper bacon, and ask him to make it just a little less hot, because the uh, the full blown Carolina Reaper bacon version is so hot that it's you like can't eat it. you can't you eat it. it. You got to enjoy it. But it, but he's he bumped it. There was somebody he sent me one, and I had a fan message me and be like, I asked him to, to send me the the tamed version down like you got, and they did, and they ate it all, and they loved it. I loved it too. It was oh, great. Like it had like a more of a habanero level of heat, which was manageable. Hmm. But this guy's great. 
Also, this guy's great, and this guy's uh -huh. he's fine. I don't know. He elbows people when he meets them for the first time. <laughs> what? <laughs> but, I'm not an old lady. Either way, make sure to check out both their channels down below, and also make sure, sure to check out the California Blazing Chili Farms. And that's that. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Ciao.